morning. A tragic end to the search for a Brooklyn boy who vanished in Borough Park on Monday. CBS News' Kristen Thorne joins us live from Sunset Park this morning. Kristen. Good morning, Mary. Yes, uh, some very sad news here. We've confirmed here at CBS that Libby Kletsky's body has been found in a dumpster here in Sunset Park. I'm going to step aside and show you the dumpster that we believe it is still in uh, as we speak. We're told that half of his body is here in this dumpster and the other half is at a home in Kensington, Brooklyn, where uh, a couple people, a few people, three people were arrested uh, earlier this morning. We spoke with New York Assemblyman Dove Hyken just moments ago. He's been speaking with the family throughout this whole search for Libby. Here's what he had to say. Just a horror, you know, for every parent. For I mean, uh -huh. it's just a tragedy today for everyone in New York. That's everyone, amazing. everyone, everywhere. That something like this can happen. That's you know, you that someone could leave day camp on Monday, you know, beautiful day, sun shining, going to meet his mother and, and just disappear. And that there are sick people out there who would do such horrible things to an innocent child. God. And uh, earlier earlier this morning, we saw uh, FBI agents, NYPD, over in Kensington, Brooklyn, uh, were told some, by some people there at the scene that three people uh, were taken out of that house, two men and a woman. We don't yet know uh, how they're connected to this entire thing, but once again, half of Libby's body, we're told, was found inside that house. Uh, the search has just been intensifying over the last couple of days. Nine-year-old Libby Kletsky went missing on Monday. He was supposed to be, meet his mother after day camp on a street corner, but he never showed up. The NYPD releasing just late last night a, a video of a gold sedan that they believe may have, uh, Libby may have gone into. That gold sedan was found at that house in Kensington this morning. We're told that investigators were searching that car. The NYPD also released surveillance of Libby on Monday, walking down the street, being on a street corner, appearing to be lost. A man walks into the video uh, and they appear to walk off together. The, the community in Borough Park has been searching relentlessly relentlessly for this child and then this piece of, of very incredibly sad news this morning uh, that Libby's body uh, has been found in a dumpster here in Sunset Park uh, just right over here. Uh, the NYPD is planning to hold a press conference in just a short while to update the media on all these developments. We're live in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. Kristen Thorne, CBS 2 News. Kristen, uh, I know this is a very close-knit community that this boy grew up in, and are you, I see people on the street around you. Have you been seeing any kind of reactions from the people who have been gathering there? I mean, it, it's just, it's absolute shock how everyone is just in disbelief how this could happen and you feel the sense of sadness. I mean, this is all happening right now. So this is all the energy of it. We were over at Kensington. Uh, people were there. They immediately got the word that the body was found here in this dumpster. They were over here within minutes over here. This community has been trying to find this child, have been working as hard as they can to try to find him since he went missing. And then here, this piece of news, they are just flooding this area. And we all, you know, share in this piece of sadness with them. And Kristen, Assemblyman Dove Hyken saying there has been an arrest and you talked to people who saw three people come out of that home, but there's no word on any charges at this time, correct? No, no, and no, there is not. And the real uh, kind of word going around here is everyone is very curious if one of these uh, people who involved was Jewish. And we're, we're hearing from, from the people there that were at that house that a man that was taken out, they did identify as a Jewish man. So, we, you know, again, this is all we're trying to make sense of all this. We don't know what all this means. We're telling you as it comes to us, as we're seeing it, and as the sources we're talking to here. I've been on this story uh, since this all happened. I've started to know who's good to talk to, and I have been talking to those people all morning. Uh, we want to take a look again at the video of the dumpster sure. where we believe that part of the boy's body is still in. Uh, but the house itself where, where it's, we're believed also that the other part of his body is being, is, uh, was found. Um, early on, Kristen, when, when you first got on the yeah. scene there, was there still a hope of the gathered people that the boy might be found alive in there? Or was the mood already uh, more somber that this was not going to end well? You know, I, I think I think a mixture, you know, everyone, everyone wants to have hope. Who doesn't want to have hope that this child would be found alive? And then uh, I think we were there for maybe 20, 30 minutes and then we got word about this. And, and it's just, I mean, disbelief at this point, um, just disbelief. Truly devastating, a, a tragic end to this story. Kristen, thank you. We'll have more of this as the morning goes on. And of course, CBS 2 News at noon, 5, 6 and 11.